What's going on guys, it's your boy DPJ here today with another Destiny video and in today's video I want to talk about Year 1 Exotics as Year 2 Weapons. Now I believe it was within the December update that we saw quite a few Year 1 Exotics upgrade to that Year 2 power level. Some of these Exotics were the Mead and Multi Tool, the Plan C, the Dragon's Breath, the Super Good Advice, the Hard Light, the No Land Beyond, the Twilight Garrisons, the Nothing Manacles, the Armamentarium as well as a few more. At the time I remember these exotics being dropped as a surprise with little knowledge known of their plans. Me personally I feel it's about damn time we had a few more exotics from our beloved year one powered up to that year two level so they can be used in that PvE and with such events as Trials of Osiris and the Iron Banner when it comes to PvP. In today's video I will be showing you guys 3 exotics I'd most like to see return as year 2 exotics. Now as crazy as you guys may see my choice is, I've chosen 2 of my 3 weapons on the pure basis of me enjoying using them. And the third one being my all round favourite year 1 weapon. Not only to me though but to many many other people for both PvE and PvP. Now before we go any further into the exotics I'd love to see brought back into year 2. You guys tell me down below if there were 3 exotics you could power up to that year 2 standard, what would they be? Let me know what you would choose down below in that comment section, armor or weapons. Tell me down below your must have 3 and the reasons behind your picks. Now let's get into my picks. The first weapon I'd love to see return is the Universal Remote. This is a primary shotgun. I actually remember a time within Destiny that many people put this up there with the worst exotics in the game while I was there having shitloads of fun with it, especially in PvP. Some of my favourite PvP memories are of me running around with this weapon. I still feel 85% of the maps in Crucible suit close quarter battles and pairing the Universal Remote up with a decent sniper did work amazingly for me. Just for the moments of destroying people at a distance where the Universal Remote couldn't hit. The second exotic I'd love to see return, and remember guys, two of these three picks are truly based on fun I had with them. So the second exotic I'd love to see return is the Queen Breaker's Bow. Now the Queen Breaker's Bow is a weapon rewarded from the Prison of Elders, along with the Dreg's Promise and the Lord of Wolves. While the Lord of Wolves was also quite a decent weapon, I much preferred the QBB. It just felt so unique using it, also extremely satisfying and although 99% of the time you can do better with just a normal sniper, for me it just ain't as fun. The QBB is a weapon many have forgotten about, mainly due to the fact it's completely pointless to be used in both PvE and PvP, but I seriously enjoyed using it and that's why it's a part of my three exotics I'd love to see return. Okay so moving on to my third and final pick of the exotics I'd love to see return and powered up. My final choice is the Icebreaker. The Icebreaker is a secondary sniper, one that regens its own ammo. Now this thing in year one helped me out a shit ton, even more so than the Galhorn, which maybe was probably an obvious choice, but to be honest it probably would have been too obvious, hence why it never made my list. The Icebreaker though was such a great weapon, amazing for PvE and equally great and fun to use in PvP. Now as bad as I do in PvP, I do remember running around with this thing and using it as my only weapon and truly enjoying myself. Sadly them times are long gone but why couldn't they return? I feel they can. The Icebreaker was a weapon many fought along with the Galahorn, made PvE way too easy. While I agree and it's why it did receive a few nerfs. I still really enjoyed it after these nerfs and if I had the choice of one exotic I could bring back it would for damn sure be the icebreaker. But guys those are my three picks, tell me down below what you think of my picks as well as giving me the name of three exotics you would choose and tell me why. Thanks for stopping by as always, hope you enjoyed the video, do drop a like, I do appreciate the support and I'll catch you on that next one, peace out until next time, peace! We all on YouTube every damn day, watching these vids of the brand new games. Bid after bid, many are the same, that's why you gotta go and find DPJ. Destiny gameplays, weekly snipes, heavy uploads gonna have you a hype. Started in the UK, now he's worldwide. DPJ, go and subscribe.